Hey what's going on guys, my name's Nathan and welcome back to the Snack Saloon. Today I'm going to be doing American Candy. This is a video that obviously I've been planning for a while. I do live in America so it's the easiest candies to get. Now this stuff isn't stuff that I specifically bought for this video. I wasn't actually planning on doing this video today. But this is stuff that I just sort of had on hand. So some, some things are going to be sort of missing in this, like things you would have expected, but there is some fairly fairly common stuff as well. I'm going to start off here with these Sour Warheads. As far as I can remember, I've never had Warheads before. These are limited edition Easter flavor, so you can tell I've had these for a few weeks now. These just say Sour Chewy Cubes. Like I said, I've never even had the regular Warheads before, so I'm not going to be able to compare these to the regular ones. But I'm just going to like, you know, give a review solely on these. So let's get these open and give them a try. Okay, you can see there's like different colors in this. There's like green, purple, red. I think that's the only ones I can see. I guess I'll go with the red one. They're really, really soft and they're covered in sugar, which is what I expected. So let's see how sour these things actually are. Not really sour. I guess I'll try a purple one. So far I'm not really getting any sourness from these. Let's try a green one. Okay, the green one's probably the best. Okay, for what they are, it's just the regular candy. They are pretty good. They're not sour at all though, so if you're getting these expecting to be sour. You're gonna be disappointed, but they are good, it's just a regular candy. Next up, I'm gonna stick to the, the Warheads theme. I've got some sour jelly beans. So let's see if these are any more sour than the cubes were. I don't know how well you can see in there, but there is quite a few different colors in there. I guess I'll just get a few. This is a pink one. Those are actually really good. Try a blue one here. I actually think the jelly beans are slightly more sour than the cubes. Again, they're not they're nothing extreme, but they're still a lot better. Yeah, those got a thumbs up from me. Those are good. Next up, I've got some cookie dough bites, and these are the new birthday cake flavor. I noticed a lot of American candy has been doing this particular flavor birthday cake. It's not something I've ever seen before until I moved here. You can see on the back there, made in the USA. I'm expecting these to be good, but I'm expecting them to be the kind of thing where you wouldn't want to eat a lot of these, which is what I found with a lot of candy as well. Okay, you can see they come in this like, they're like ball shape, and they have like little speckles of, I guess, cake inside. They do smell of cake. I'm gonna go with only small ones here. I don't really know how to how to feel about those. It was good, but like I said, it wasn't something I would eat like the whole box of because I could imagine myself getting really sick of these. Like they had that sort of white chocolate flavor with like a cake aftertaste. And it's just, like I said, something that would make you feel sick if you ate this whole bag. Next up, I've got some Laffy Taffy. And I'm sure I've had this before, uh, not too long ago. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I have. Now there's different flavors on here. There's sour apple, strawberry, grape, and the banana. So I'm just gonna rip into these and give them a try. I'll try each flavor. And obviously these things come individually wrapped, like different different flavors. I'll start off with the banana one. These things are the kind of things that are gonna be really hard to open. I can already tell, like, the, they stick to the packaging. Okay, just as I thought, look at this mess. I hate it when it's a chore to open it. I'm just gonna try and rip a little bit, bit of this off, because this is ridiculous. Okay, I've got a bit here. This is the banana one. Let's give it a try. Well, that's not bad. Okay, I'm going to try the grape one next. And this is probably going to be the same thing. You can, you can already tell when you take these out of the bag that these are going to be such a struggle to open. Okay, I ended up putting one of these back and fishing out another one. And this one's actually been surprisingly easy to open, so... By the way, if you can hear a noise in the background, that's the rain outside. It's absolutely pouring it down. Let's take a bite out of this. I like how soft they are as well. That one's not too bad. Usually I'm a bit on the fence about grape flavored things, but that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to try a strawberry one next. 
Again, this one was fairly easy to open, so let's just take a bite out of this. Strawberry's pretty good. Okay, last one of these, I've got sour apple. So let's see, this one's actually sour. Yeah, this one was kind of a struggle to open, but nowhere near as bad as the first banana one, so let's, let's try this one. definitely not sour. I don't know what it is about them putting sour on things that aren't sour. I can't even say I have a high tolerance for sour things. The only candy that I can think that, that I find sour that would like literally have me pulling faces would be the toxic waste, the ones that come in the little plastic sort of toxic waste container. If anyone knows what those are, those are the only real things that I can admit are really truly sour. Well, Laffy Taffy as a whole was actually pretty good. I'm glad it's soft. Um, the only thing I couldn't really comment on is the packaging, it's, it's such a chore to get them out. And I'll have some chocolate, this is the Dove Dark Chocolate Eggs. Obviously these are an Easter thing, but you can get Dove Chocolate anytime. I'm more used to Galaxy Chocolate in the UK. I'm sure it's the same same manufacturer because the, the, the font that they use on the logo is exactly the same. So let's get some of these out. Obviously, like I said, these are the eggs, so they're egg-shaped and they're all individually wrapped. I'm more of a fan of milk chocolate than dark chocolate, but, I mean, I can't eat dark chocolate. Okay, here it is. It says Dove on there, so let's give this a try. That's pretty good. One thing I will say about these Dove chocolate eggs, or maybe it's Dove chocolate in general, they leave, they leave a really strong taste in your mouth. So it's like the kind of thing where... At least me, I would have to have like a drink with this because I just can't, I think it's just dark chocolate in general, I just can't deal with the taste of it after, after you swallow it and it just lingers in your mouth. Okay, next up I've got these. Now these are Austin Peanut Butter Toasty Crackers, and all it says is since 1932, so these are fairly old. Now I've never had these before, I've never even seen them before, so I'm going to just whip them open and give them a try. Apparently they're fairly popular. Like I said, I've never even heard of them. They're basically like two Ritz crackers joined together and they have like peanut butter in the middle. So I can't see how it would be bad. Yeah, there's not too much I can really say about these. It's just like eating peanut butter on crackers. There's not really any way to describe it. They are good. I can imagine these being a good snack if you're like walking or something. Like just bring some of these with you because obviously peanut butter. But yeah. I would definitely eat these. Okay, last up I've got these. These are kind of random. These are birthday cake cookies. The brand just says Bud's Best Cookies, probably made in the USA. It says bite-sized, flavor cream filled cookies. I mean, I don't think these are like a well-known brand or anything, but I'm gonna give them a try. They, the packaging looks interesting. And, and again, birthday cake flavor, like I said, it seems to be cropping up a lot. Here's what they look like. They're just like a sandwich sort of cookie with some kind of filling in the middle. It doesn't really smell like birthday cake. And what it smells like? It smells very artificial, put it that way. Okay, I'm just gonna give this one a try. Can't see me eating much of these in one go. Hmm. I don't really know how I feel about these. Comparing these to the, the cookie dough birthday cake, these aren't as strong. You get more of a taste of the cookie than the actual filling, and the cookie itself is really sweet, so it's like, I guess eating something really ridiculously sweet. I don't know if I can describe it, there's no, there's no like, specific taste to them, just a the sweetness. I think this is something that you definitely would not want to eat a lot of. Maybe it's just me, maybe, I'm, I'm, I've never been one of those kind of people that can just eat candy, like, just sit there and just pound it in, you know? But they're, they're these were okay, I suppose. I just, you know, I want to eat a lot of them. I'm going to say out of everything that I've tried here today, my favourite things were probably these sour jelly beans from Warheads, and then followed by the Laffy Taffy. The sour Warhead cubes were okay as well. There was nothing there that was bad. It's just like some things are slightly more un unhealthy tasting than others. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. I will be doing more American candy, because like I said, this is just stuff that I had on hand. It wasn't stuff that I bought specifically for a video. But then I sort of looked and thought I've got a decent amount here, I might as well do a video. But that's gonna be it from me guys, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!